Hi there, hola, and welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and Beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived here in the resort for over 20 years, and my aim is to give you a unique and different take on all there is to see, do, and enjoy in Benidorm and the surrounding areas, so here we go. Today I'm taking you for a short walk along Carrer del Sol in the Old Town, which can be found just off one of the main shopping streets in this neighbourhood, Calle Gambo, and where the four-star Hotel Avenida is located. We start by passing the glasses shop and opticians, Optica Universitaria, whose chain have over 30 years of experience in the sector and offer all the top brand of designer frames and lenses. Carrying on uphill, we pass the entrance to a residential apartment block and then the Mr. Babu bubble tea kiosk that was just opening as I walked by. Next door we find the small premises of Echo Seca who offer washing, dry cleaning and seamstress services and adjacent to this is the modern butchers and delicatessen Carniceria Pico who have been in business since 1967 and you can very often see a queue forming outside this shop such as its popularity with the local residents. Moving uphill further, we see an amusing mural on the wall of a girl who has lost her recent purchase of oranges, with them rolling down the hill to freedom. And as we approach the corner and the top of this ascent, we see the extremely large Chinese shop Super Euro, who sell everything from gifts and souvenirs to stationery and makeup and just about anything else in between too. We have now reached Via Emilio Ortuño, where in Fiesta times this section often holds a street market called a Porat, with lots of interesting stalls selling food, drink, ornaments and gifts. And from here we sweep round and head back down the hill again, only this time on the other side. First of all on our right we see another so-called Chinese shop, this time offering a variety of cheap fashion garments and beach items, along with a selection of footwear and handbags. Carrying on carefully downwards, we see signs for all sorts of businesses that are located not only in the first floor of the apartment block beside us, such as the stationery supply shop Papeleria Centro, but also in the Mercado Abril indoor market, which has two entrances, one of which we now pass, where we can see a pescaderia or fish shop advertised. Continuing along, we see blackboards for the Spanish bar inside the market, where you can stop for a drink or maybe try one of their tapas or rice or fish dishes, which during the summer months you can enjoy on their outside terrace. Next along we see the small supermarket and bakery window of Panaderia Abril who are a traditional local mini-mart or corner shop as you might say. Unlike the ones that are constantly springing up all over the tourist areas of Benidorm now, selling snacks and drinks at whatever price they feel like on the day. Next along we then see the attractive fruit and vegetable display of local greengrocers Fruteria Carlos whose stall is the first one we see as we enter the market. Once below street level you can see that surprisingly there are quite a few stalls hidden away inside albeit in the gloom. And by walking to the very end section we can see the wet fish counter of Pescaderia Maraval with its fresh catches glistening temptingly for sale along with the tapas bar El Mercat Gastro Bar that I mentioned outside, which is unexpectedly cosy, with bar stools and wooden tables and chairs to sit at, and it was nice to see that it was doing a little business too. Although I can't find any specific information about when this little market opened, it has a very old-fashioned yet charming feel about it to me, reminding you more of days gone by. 
And judging by the fact that the butchers and the greengrocers on this street both say that they have been trading since 1967, my educated guess would be that this was around the time that the Makadua Brill was built and opened, and I'd be so interested to find out if this was the case, as I do love local history. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. Now coming out into the daylight again, we pass Boutique Aries which sells men's and women's wear primarily aimed at the older generation. And then on the corner we see the slightly more modern women's clothes store of Festa, which brings us back to where we started on Calle Gambo. I hope that you've enjoyed this unusual little walk with me, full of places that you may never have noticed or seen before. And if you have, please check out some of my other great street and beach walks, along with my many hotel, cafe, bar, along with my many hotel, cafe and bar reviews, and dozens of other videos full of news, updates and local information. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you out and about next time, maybe videoing along some of Benidorm streets or in the shops, who knows. Bye for now, take care and adios. Ciao!